welcome back to the zoology class dear students good afternoon today we are continuing non chordates in kingdom animalia phylum platyhelminthes flatworm let us start phylum platyhelminthes flatworms in greek language platy means broad or flat helmin it does mean worm dear students in this picture you are seeing a flat worm which is called as tapeworm live as a, an endoparasite in our intest in our intestinal tract let us start phylum platyhelminthes Animals belongs to the phylum Platyhelminthes. They have a dorsoventrally flattened body. Hence, they are called as flatworms. These animals are bilaterally symmetrical in nature. The body of the animal which possesses triploblastic a coelomate that is body cavity is absent with organ system level of organization phylum platyhelminthes animals belongs to this phylum they show moderate cephalization and unidirectional movement members which belongs to the platyhelminthes are mostly live as endoparasites of animals endoparasites in animals including human beings you are seeing liver fluke and tapeworm the magnified picture of tapeworm scolex called a head with the help of hooks and suckers they attached on the intestinal tract of host animal hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms serve as the organ for attachment can you note down their body is not segmented but some of the some of them are exhibit pseudo segmentation some of the members in platyhelminthes are parasitic flatworms absorbs nutrients from directly nutrients from the host through their body surface through their body surface however flatworms like liver fluke have a complete digestive system specialized excretory cells called flame cells however flatworms like liver fluke have an incomplete digestive system specialized excretory cells are seen they help in asthma regulation and excretion the specialized excretory cells are called as flame cells flame cells it's a one word question children sex sex in platyhelminthes are not separate hence they are monoecious fertilization is internal and the development is through the larval stage such as 
Miraxidium, Sporocyst, Redia, Cercaria. Members of platyhelminthes process, an important feature that is polyembryony, which is very common in some flatworms like liver fluke. Some members like a planaria, which shows high degree of regeneration capacity. Example. Example for practical minthus, tinea solium, tapeworm, fasciola hepatica liver fluke, and another one, cystosoma blood fluke. Cystosoma blood fluke. Dear students, practical minthus often they are asking questions for. High marks. Let us continue. Pylum Ashelminthus called round worms. In Greek language, Askes or Asks cavity, it means Helminths, it does mean worm. Dear student, Pylum Ashelminthus previously called as nematoda present day the name nematoda was changed into ashelminthus body of these worms are generally circular in cross section hence they are called as round worms they are free living as well as parasitic on aquatic and terrestrial plants and animals. Members of Ascalminthus are roundworms. Generally they are bilaterally symmetrical, diploblastic with pseudocelomate. Animals with pseudocelomate showing organ system level organization the body of this animal is segmented and covered by transparent tough protective collagenous layer called as cuticle alimentary canal is complete with a well developed mouth, muscular pharynx, and anus. Excretive system consists of renity glands, generally, sex are separated, that means male and female worm found separately, exhibiting sexual dimorphism. Often, females are longer than the males. Just when you are observing Ascaris lumbricardus, in which you can observe the female and male, the female is longer than the male. Fertilization is internal and majority of them are oviparous. Example, Ascaris lumbricardus round worm, Entrobius vermicularis, pin worm, Ocheria, Ocheria, Bancrofti, Filial worm, which is responsible for elephantiasis, and uh, Ancyclostoma duodenale, which is called hook worm. Dear students, in this class, we come across Two important pylum, pylum practical minthus as well as pylum ascal minthus. Kindly go through all the points and the characteristic features of both the pylum. Thank you, children. I will meet you in another day.